What's up everybody? This is Skytech Freak and I'm continuing the video that I was doing a tutorial of the LG Optimus One and how to install Cyanogen Mod 11 or Kit Android KitKat on it. And like I said, I'll do another video of a small review if the ROM actually manages to work and guess what? It managed to work and it did actually take a lot of time to boot up because if you guys saw my earlier video, even after I stopped filming that video, it took about 5, 6, 7 more minutes before it actually started up. And once it started up, A, it was extremely slow because I hadn't put a SIM card in it. And like I mentioned in the previous video, it told you put a SIM card in it, only then will the phone work fast. Otherwise, you can put it in airplane mode. So then I actually took out my phone from my Xiaomi Mi 2 and I put it in this. And because I couldn't take out my sim from the Moto G since that's a micro sim and this only uses big sims. And I'm really thankful that my Xiaomi phone has uses a full sim. I mean, not that the micro sim is a bad concept, it's just that, you know, it makes it come back compatible to older phones like this. Instead of having to pull out that tray every time you want to use an old phone. Anyways, so yeah, I'm digressing again. What I was saying is, uh, the reason it took so long to boot was that's, that's about 5, 6, I don't know how long we waited on in the earlier video plus about five six seven more minutes so it took really long but that was only because if you remember in the earlier video they asked me a few questions about some apps some tweaks and some things so um just to facilitate that actually uh it took a little longer because it, the rom had to unpack some of the unusual tweaks and settings then even while booting it had to put everything in place i guess so it took a lot of time because of the tweaks and settings that I changed around instead of the stock like music I had chosen Google music instead of Apollo because I prefer that anyway so let's get into the ROM right now as you can see you have the clock and you have the weather clock weather and clock widget right in the home uh, this is the lock screen sorry as you can see my Vodafone India service provider so you can go to the right side to unlock left side to go to the browser if you can see that up here for phone top right for sms and right on top for music and if you want to go to the camera directly from the lock screen you swipe this side and you get your camera and the camera does work it takes about a second or two for the preview to finally show up but it works perfectly as you can see i can just take a photograph and show you so does video and panorama i've tried it all i'll just show you video it'll work as you can see up there panorama I don't really want to do it but yeah that works too so this is the home screen uh, once you install this it are there are two home screens there's this KitKat launcher and then there's the official Google home screen I chose the Google home screen because I think that's just a lot better I made that the permanent one I've also logged into my Google account and everything so yeah Initially when you start this wrong, even with a sim card putting, even after it's booted after so long, it'll be extremely laggy in the beginning for the first 5-10 minutes until you put in your Google account and all. Initially it'll be a bit of a pain to use, but after you're done with that, after you finish the initial setting or whatever of the phone, I mean it's quite amazing that a phone like this can run KitKat, which is supposedly the latest version of Android, supposed, supposed to be for phones with about at least 1 GB. So yeah, this Cyanogen mod is pretty nice. Uh, one thing about Cyanogen mod is you pull down from the left side, you get your notifications. Pull down from the right side, you get your toggles. I haven't set up my own profile or anything like that. I just have my Google account signed in. Uh, Hangouts is a new concept too. It mixes SMS with a bunch of other stuff. I think Google Plus and stuff. There's a new dialer. The whole theme has sort of changed from the blue to this grey. There are still bits and pieces of blue here and there. Like if you ask your phone to reboot or something down here then uh, you if wait let me just show you that one more time i'm gonna hold this there can you see that's blue if you ask it to reboot it'll ask you in blue so blue is still around but like uh, the top of this used to be in blue the no what do you call it the notification bar used to be in blue as you can see now it's white keyboard used to be in blue now it's gray uh, another thing that's missing in this that's there in most of the Android phones is gesture timing. That's that swipe kind of thing. I was pretty shocked to notice that it wasn't here in this. I guess it's because this is a small keyboard, small phone, and it's a port and all, so that gesture typing would have been a little tough or whatever, but it's not here. Gesture timing just isn't here. Again, this keyboard is the same thing as the earlier one without the blue theme. I think 
somehow this does feel like a better keyboard. Uh, KitKat overall does feel better than uh, Jelly Bean because Jelly Bean was sort of juttery and I think this is just a much smoother, cleaner. KitKat is just cleaner, nicer and everywhere. Let's go to the dialer. Um, what else can I show you? Like I said, Apollo, there was a, an option between Apollo and Google Play Music and I chose Google Play Music. There's actually no music in the phone right now. Or there could be, I'm not sure. Yeah, there is. Sorry, I'm using an old SD card. So yeah, there is music. You can search for something, I guess. I don't know. Okay, I don't have anything with FHU. Whatever, that's not an artist or a song or anything that I have in my library. That's kind of weird. Anyways, I don't think either of you would have one either. So yeah, so there's no Chrome pre-installed. You'll have to install Chrome right now. You have the normal browser. The normal browser opens normal Google. That's the home page. Uh, yeah, should I sign in? I get it. I'll do that later. It'll just take unnecessary amount of time, anyways. Um, let's just hide that. Let's try something. What do you want to type? The date. Another thing that doesn't work. I'm sorry to be naming things that don't work, but uh, even the as you can see up here, we get a card telling us about the date. Uh, even voice recognition doesn't work right now you can't speak into the mic and say anything unfortunately google search has stopped if you try to talk into it otherwise if you uh, just type it in works perfectly with the cards and everything google now otherwise is pretty perfect but you cannot talk to it anymore you, you, you can't talk to this phone let's go to settings and actually prove to you that this is android 4.4.2 so i'm in here right now and we're gonna go down to about phone okay and let's just tap at the android version a bunch of times and we can see that this is kitkat so another cool thing that i mean this is one of my favorite things to do all the time whenever i get bored or i have to show off to someone that i know this or in one of in any of my videos i always seem to be doing this but cyanogen mod has also now decided to come up with this so if you go to cyanogen mod version build or whatever then and you tap that repeatedly this comes up says come on cyanogen that's pretty cool of you to do something like that build number i think i've already made myself a developer yeah no need you've already enabled development settings i'm already a developer uh performance i have increased i've overclocked it just a little bit i've made the ma uh the minimum 480 megahertz the maximum 672 megahertz even though it's a 600 megahertz processor so that's the options I've done. Uh, things that wouldn't be there in stock and are there in Cyanogen mod would be interface. You can choose your quick settings panel. You can choose which styles you want. You can set up your own profile. All that is there. So, anyways, that's pretty cool. Let's go back in the home screen. Can you just see what's happening? Yeah, uh, where was I? Sorry. I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, so the quick pull down, you can choose tiles and layout, which tiles you want. You can add tiles with this, you can delete tiles. So these are all the options of tiles that you have. The ones that are white, you can choose the ones that are grayed and faded. That means they're already there. To delete a tile, you just hold it and drag it. Why am I even telling you this? I mean, most of you would know this. This is general Android stuff. So yeah, but you can't do this in stock Android, you can't choose your settings and balance, at least in the Moto G you can't do that. Home, like I said, there are two homes, KitKat launch and Google now already pre-installed, I'm using Google now, I think that's cool. Lock screen, you can choose I guess your app sliders, oh, yeah, your app sliders, your widget, battery status, all that stuff, home screen basically. Themes, another thing Cyanogen mod has under its wing, only one right now of course. So yeah, the, I mean that's all I think I can show you right now for the LG Optimus One Cyanogen mod. That's pretty cool. I mean I'm loving it. The daily driver, completely worth it. Camera working, phone working, Bluetooth working, mobile data working, Wi-Fi working, anything else. Nothing that's not working at least as far as I can see. The two things that I told you are not working. Um, well I told you. And if there's anything else you guys want to know just... Uh, write it in the comment and please like and subscribe to my video if there's any other video you'd like me to do about maybe 
the Xiaomi Mi 2 or the Moto G a custom ROM for that the Asus Transformer Pad a custom ROM maybe for that KitKat for the Asus Transformer Pad if there's anything like a Jelly Bean ROM for the LG Optimus 1 you'd like me to do any other ROM for the LG Optimus 1 MIUI version 4 is around for it uh, Moto G any custom ROM that you'd like to see right away I have I'm running Cyanogen mod on my MI uh, my UI phone so if you would like to see that Moto G if there's anything you want to know about it just like subscribe and just let me know whatever you guys want my next video to be or about I know I've been ignoring the LG Optimus 1 for a while now but I'm gonna get back to that completely I'm sorry that all the LG Optimus 1 fans had subscribed and liked my channel uh, they were kind of feeling like left out because I got all these new phones but uh, all these new toys so I got distracted but now I'm getting back to this if there's anything you guys need for any of the phones just let me know, Asus Transformer Pad, Xiaomi Mi 2, LG Optimus 1, even if it's a game or something, Moto G, if there's a game you want me to review or anything, uh, a custom ROM, the, that's the kind of stuff I do, a tutorial on how to install a custom ROM and any of these, I mean, anything, just whatever comes to your mind, if there's anything I can help with, just let me know and I'll try that, please like and subscribe to my channel, thanks guys, that's all for now, Skytech Freak signing out.